Piggy vs. Part 2. I just finished it, so I'm gonna give you my review and my honest opinions about each game. And I don't know if this is the last event or last part of the event. There might be a part 3, I don't know. <laughs> they haven't said anything, so we'll see. But yeah, what a weird slash fun experience. Very frustrating. I was live for four hours trying to be everything. I did a little bit cheats here and there, but I still got everything. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my inbox by the way for the tutorials. That was very helpful. Um, PD Intel the real. I don't know how to say that. It was it was released later on, so that's why I didn't do it in those or technically four hours should have been. If it, if it was there, it probably would be like 8 hours or something, I don't know. But yeah, let's just get on to the games. Let's start with BOT, B-O-T. Don't know what that stands for, but if you know, you, you know. B-O-T was a little bit weird. See, I don't know why, but... It didn't. It doesn't. It didn't even feel like Piggy at all. It didn't feel like a Piggy fan game. Besides the characters and then keys and stuff, it didn't really feel like Piggy at all. It felt like a different, completely different game. So BOT, though it was called BOT Past, meaning it's like old BOT. Apparently, I'm not too sure. I don't know much about BOT. I've never played it before. But there is, I think, 13 badges you have to collect in order to get that one, one badge we need for the Piggyverse, which was kind of frustrating. And the owner actually worked all summer for it, so... But the badges was, like, some of them were hard to complete. Because either you would die, or it was complex, and then, yeah, that's pretty much all that. Afterwards, I, you know, got to the end, and then I was, uh, there was like a boss fight we had to do. Boss fight was kind of hard, kind of easy. It was like in the middle. It was okay. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too easy. And you had to like shoot the bot, but we had to take down like a weird character, and then there was also this one badge we had to get where we had to tase the prisoners. Kind of brutal, I ain't gonna lie. Also at the at the, the end, um, the, there's like a boss character. Got to grab the sword and then beat him with the sword. It was like a little classic sword fight. I kind of enjoyed that. After that, then I saw I saw brutality. I saw the boss just like punch the freaking cat in the face and then throw him across the thing. And yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I kind of liked how it went though. BOT was kind of, kind of, not kind of good. It was good. It was different from the other ones. I just wish they had more like piggy verse stuff or piggy stuff in them besides the keys and models. Maybe have like some few, few buildings from piggy or something like that. I don't know. But overall, I think the game was, or the, the event for the game was. Pretty amazing, I like it. Moving on, we have Immersive Truth. Immersive Truth, I haven't played that game in a while, but that's not what we're talking about today. We have to get through five chap or let's go completely to the front. We were at the first chapter of the map and we were playing as Marcus. We had to get you know go to the basement area thing. Then the elevator was like, no, yeah, we, we ain't gonna work, you ain't, going, you ain't coming back up. Then we had to go through the emergency exit door, and then there was like a huge lab down here. There's like a, there's like, there's like a, like a pathway to like a lab, and then we had to open a portal. Which we, when we went through it, there's like, like, we were basically playing the, the first five chapters, and it was like, insole inside. Thing, I'm a I don't know what, what you're gonna say about that, but there's like insulin eye stuff 
corrupted stuff there as well. Um, uh, some bugs there with the bots because first chapter there wasn't there was, the bot did not spawn for me at all. The bot just gave up on me, so I was a free win there. And then we got chapter two. Chapter two was actually enjoyable. I mean, the bot was behind my tail this entire time. Sometimes we'll get stuck here and there. But it was fun to do. It was quick and dandy. It wasn't like a 12 hour chapter or something like that. Uh, but then we have chapter 3. Pretty self explanatory. There's also a code there. Pretty easy to understand. If you don't know, I don't know what to how to do the code. I'm sorry dude. Then I can't explain it. Watch my boss's tutorial. He knows it. But then after chapter 3. I was confused with chapter 4. But then I was like. Maybe I do know what to do. So I went up to, I see myself, I was like, Oh, that's kind of weird. I see myself without a face on. I was like, oh no, early, early face reveal, uh oh. So in chapter four, we had to get, you know, find myself, grab a key, grab the green key, open the green key door, and there's sheepy, and a sheepy turned into an insolence eyeball thing. That was kind of creepy, I ain't gonna lie. And then, I got jump scared by Doggy. <laughs> yeah, I got jump scared by Pony, Willow, and Doggy. Because of Scooty Riz. It's a block here. <gasps> oh my freaking god, that genuinely jump scared the frick out of me. And then I just had to run away, do a code. That wasn't as hard code, it's just memorizing what code door that is. Then we had to, you know, open the door or grab the key, go in. Then there's chapter five. Chapter five. See, at first chapter five was pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's very easy. And then I went to go into that one room with the, on the teacher, and then I got kicked. I got kicked. So I had to redo everything. I died a couple times, and then I, you know, went back to where I was, and then beat chapter 5 and I beat the whole event so I'm gonna give you know Immersive Truth was actually good I think it was actually very good I, I enjoyed it it wasn't too hard it wasn't too easy it was a natural you just need to you know be lucky and have have you know have uh, some experience you know, just have to do it a couple times and then you'll get the gist of it so yeah, um, I like I like the image of truth. Nice job. Next up we have is find the markers or piggy find the markers. Oh, that one's very nostalgic. It was at first I was confusing with this. I didn't know what to do. I've seen that map before or map layout before. I just didn't know what I was doing. It was very fun, like I said, and. Nostalgic, like I said. It was just basic piggy, you know. It's just not like there wasn't anything hard about it. One complaint about it is just the hitbox of the bot. I got hit for like 12 meters away. But yeah, that it's fine. It isn't. It isn't that bad. Bot was kind of goofy, which is going into circles. But it was still fun. It wasn't. It didn't take me. It actually did take me a little bit longer than I than expected. But it was still good. It wasn't like the hardest thing ever. So I'm not gonna say it's easy. It was decent. It was decent. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy for the the, the, the devs and the people that did it. Next up, we have is deceptive tales. Deceptive Tales, oh, the Def Deceptive Tales was a different feeling. Let me just talk about one bug. <laughs> you could go throughout the door, and I just got, basically, I just got a free badge. And I thought that was it, and then they said, yeah, I have to do it again, so I did it again. Like I said, it was a different feeling. It was very fun, actually. It was different. It wasn't, you know, basic opening door. It was, I was actually at the at the start of it and then there was just a different thing you know there but it was you know it wasn't it was decent it was in the middle it wasn't hard and easy of course and yeah i liked how little brother spins around with the bag you have to be like 
It's like, like, what was that one thing? Wipeout thing? I think it was Wipeout? It's very similar to that. And I very, I liked it. It's just, at first, you know, I died a, a thousand times. I didn't see the bat coming out of nowhere. But I still, I still managed to do it. So, it was good. It was, I, I liked it. Now next up, controversial, but it's next up is Intel Dream. I hope I, I'm, I hope I said that correctly. There was four badges on this one. Three of them were quests. One of them is like a chapter, quote, quote unquote, chapter. But you know, we're just gonna go into detail. So quest number one was actually very easy. All you need to do is grab a key, go open the door. It was outside. It wasn't nothing in inside of the museum. It's just outside. Grab the key, open the door. Then there was like clocks everywhere. So you had to set the time. See, so there's like a clock, and then there's time set there, and you have to set the time to wherever that note said. So I had to do those. Maybe like. There's like five different clocks, so I did that very easy, and then there's like the the like the wall or something was opening, and then we grabbed the whatever that purple thing was, and that's quest one. That was very easy. I thought it was gonna be way harder, but not, nah. but it wasn't. And now we have quest number two. Woo! Quest number two was giving me a hard time. I beat it today actually. Or today is Sunday. Today is Sunday for me. It was very hard. And very buggy. Because the UV light didn't, you know... The UV light did, did not do its thing when I did it. I had to reset twice. Because it was bugged out. So like I said, the UV light did not light up. Like it was supposed to do. I had to do it a couple times. But it was still good. I just had the, the most. It's crazy because the most amount of problems I had it was just one key, and that was the red key. It was so hard to find the red key for some reason. I couldn't find it. Luckily, I managed to do it. And I managed to put the passcode in. There's like a passcode, and then at the end, there was like generators you had to do in the breaker room. That was actually pretty easy as well. At the end, it was basically that, and then got quest number two. Overall, quest number two was pretty hard. I ain't gonna lie. It was it was pretty hard. Next up, quest number three. Quest number three is personally my favorite one. So you have to ride a boat to you know to beat it. And there was also infected people jumping on the boat, and we had to hit him with the with the thing. That was also fun. I enjoyed that. At the end, I got to the end and I didn't realize you had to is get out the boat and then, you know, escape, quote unquote escape. I immediately escaped and then it bugged out and I had to redo it again. Well, I I wasn't complaining, it was, it was okay. So, overall, I in very, I pretty much enjoyed that. I, I, I was so happy we didn't have to do anything with the map because I'd never played the map before. I wish I had some help, but it's not. It's fine. It was easy. It was easy middle. It's okay. It's not like the it is like fifty infected coming on the boat and then this and that. And now badge number four. That was this was the final badge. We had to we were had to teleport somewhere and then we we're at the museum. We had to find stuff that were misplaced. There was like, I think at the first one, there was like seven, and then you had to go to chapter two. There was only chapter two. So once I did chapter one, which was, I was kind of stuck at first, because I, knew, I didn't know where the last item was, but then I found it. I was also talking to Mindbox on VC a little bit. That's good. I also watched his tutorial. I know, I've watched all his tutorial. Not all of them, like, most of the tutorials I did not know. But yeah, then I got teleported to chapter 2, I did chapter 2, there was like 8 items so I was misplaced, I had to do that, and then, yeah. Like I said, I have to find 8 stuff, and then, yeah, that was, it was a little bit complex, but then I got the gist of it, and then it was, it was fun. It took me a while, actually, to do, I didn't know where stuff was, so I was kind of stuck, but... 
I still managed to do it and then I was so happy I finished it until until I, until I see BOT got a bug and then yeah next up we have is watch duty watch duty is personally I think my favorite out of all of them because it, it, it's deceptive tales and watch duty it wasn't at first it was complex but then I got I know what I was doing I thought that the items would, would uh, you know move around but apparently it's just figures that was spawning there so it was still fun it was easy and I I enjoyed that I also got some tips by wondrous ninja I also want to you know say something at the end oh I'll, I'll say that soon hold on okay but yeah watch duty was in my opinion probably my favorite so let me give you my favorites so one I just told you was watch duty two is deceptive tales now don't if the owners are seeing this don't feel sad that yours is at last or at second it doesn't really matter because it's my opinion there's probably other opinions out there my opinion doesn't really count I mean pretty much does because you know it's tips for you I don't I I'm just yapping at this point I was going crazy at the live stream by the way but yeah so two was deceptive tales um hmm I'm gonna give three oh great three to to massive truth then we got and uh, into the room I'm gonna give that I'm gonna do four I'm gonna do number four and then find the markers five and then six was BOT yeah so I, I like I said I was gonna say something at the end of the live stream that yeah, live stream video whatever happened and that is I want to thank all the developers not all of them but some of the developers joined in my stream to give me some tips or let me know the developer of BOT came in and gave me some gave me some tips so thank you for that the developer of watch duty came in Gave me, also gave me some tips and also was there when I beat it so happy for that thank you very much also the developer of entirely real was there but it wasn't to help me or give me tips it was just to tell me that <laughs> entirely real isn't even finished so me and my friend we literally did that for no reason but yeah that was Pretty much. It. Also, Mark Missy was there just at the start of it. Didn't really give me tips. I mean, his game was already finished, so Mark gave me tips when I already did the game. But thank you all for for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that people care about my opinions or something. But yeah, thank you for watching. See ya.